Young filmmaker on the rise, that's the best way to describe Robert Golfin. In his very first production entitled Stricken, he embraces a growing issue of concern for people of all generations, teen AIDS. These tests have come back positive. There is counseling available. Man. But no, this can't be right. You must have made some kind of mistake. Tell me, you're, tell me you're joking or something, just... Mom, Dr. Smith and I have been in this medical profession for 11 years, and we are pretty sure that you have AIDS. Robert joins us this morning to talk about his film. Thank you so much for being here, Robert. Thank you. Who or what inspired you to become a filmmaker? I'd have to say uh, a young uh, communication arts facility in Willow Grove called Cinekid, who basically gave me the experience so that I know how to make a film. And from then on, it's just been my passion to do that. Let's talk about your current project, the subject Teens and AIDS. Uh, Stricken is about a 13-year-old boy who finds out he has AIDS, and he's, he, he is uh, very upset about it. And he finds out, from his girl, he finds out by his girlfriend that he has this uh, disease. And he thinks that she gave it to him because all of his friends at school are talking about all the rumors that are going around. And he goes to a hospital and the doctor diagnoses him with AIDS. Now of all of the subjects that you could have undertaken as your project, why AIDS? I feel that there are too many movies out there about gang banging and shooting and drugs and there's not enough movies out there that have positive peer pressure. Production. Obviously, you had to raise money, you had to assemble a production team, you had to assemble a cast. Quickly, take us through those steps. Well, I uh, started pre-production in win last winter, and on June 17th, the day after school was out, I started production. And I was supposed to have auditions, although time didn't permit us to do that, so I just got a few friends together, but I knew their acting capabilities. <laughs> and how did you know about their acting capabilities? Well, they've had prior experience. Okay. And of course, uh, could you pay them or not? No, it was a <laughs> non-paying production, so they did all volunteer work. <laughs> that, that shows you how important it is to have friends because yes. you can call on them and, and always depend on them to do things for free. Now, but there had to be some costs involved in putting your production together. Originally, I thought the production was only going to cost $600, but as we got further and further into the production, it went up. And I did send out letters to funders, although I did not receive the response that I expected. So I still have uh, lots of loans to pay off. Any loans from family members? Basically all loans from family members. <laughs> I would think so. I would think so. What is your goal as a filmmaker, and, and who do you admire? I admire... Uh, Larry Smallwood. He's the director of the Philadelphia International Film Festival. And He's what about some of the um, nationally known directors like a Spike Lee or some of the others? Spike Lee. That's what I was about to say. He, he inspires me. I mean, a lot of people say that I'm like him. So. Your next project, tell us about it. My next project is, uh, well, I have 30 projects sitting on my shelf, so... Number one. Number one is uh, called DUI and it's about uh, teenagers and drinking and driving. So it seems as though your focus is really going to be, at least at this point in your career, message movies. Yes, yes. I'll probably do uh, other movies as I get older, but right now I'm just trying to get the message out to teenagers about these concerns that are facing the community.